Hello everybody. Um welcome back to uh LA Noir walkthrough. Um so this is part two of case five and we're just entering the person's house. Just a minute. You can see in the top in the left, you see her come in. Now she's opening the door. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. We can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. So you go in with her. And you sit down. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned. And I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian. Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that OK? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Okay, so now well, let's check the place out. Come on, have a good look around. There's got to be something. We go. You go straight and turn left, then turn left again, then turn right where Stefan is. Then you go to the closet, and then you find this train ticket to Seattle. A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Okay, so then you turn to your right, and you're going to see two items there. A photograph and a glasses case. We're going to look at the glasses case first. This must be Adrian's. Then you press A to further investigate the object. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Yep. And then you go to the photograph. This this is a pretty normal photograph. If you go press A, then to my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. Okay, so now that's it for that place. Now, if you turn to your right, there's going to be a nightstand. And there's a matchbook there. Kavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Press A and press A or X. Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Yeah. So R and I will give you. It says R and I. Like he'll say R and I and stuff like that. But, uh, we'll get to that later. But, yeah. And if you miss the matchbook at the nightstand, there's also one at the kitchen cabinet. As you can see. Pretty much the same, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> so now we go to the table at the kitchen. And there's two things. There's the Insta Heat receipt. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. And then the next one to the left is this. Now this is just a regular Insta Heat ad. Pretty normal. Press A or X. It's a flyer. The flyer must have encouraged them to actually install it. So, yeah, you know. And Instaheat, you know, we have a lot of problems with Instaheat. If we go to the more cases, to the more harder cases. Yeah. But anyway, um, if you go to the right, we will have this. And you don't want to go there. So you go to the door on the left. And so you walk outside and turn right. 
over the basket of flowers. Ignore that clue. But don't ignore this clue. No use leaving the thing half finished. So now we're gonna put the pieces together. So we're just gonna put this one in the top right corner. And then put this piece next to that. We're going to put this blue piece on the bottom left corner. And then this last piece, I'm going to put it just right at that other piece that we just put in. And as you can see, it was the pipe that was missing. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. This just gets more and more interesting. But that's it for enough clues. Um, I'm just gonna go through the front door and act like I just came in. Do do do, worry. Yep, there you go. Uh, I'm walking into I'm the wall. Right now, detectives. Okay, she says she's alright. So now the first question: slaughterhouse receipt. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. Now she's looking directly at you, so you press A or X. By X, I mean. Say that about Morgan, ma'am. He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. <laughs> Okay, so next one is Stenzel Glasses Case. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. And she's still directly looking at you, so you press truth. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. It looked terrible. Okay, that's enough for that question. Location of Adrian Black. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Okay, that's enough for that question. Then photograph signed Nicole. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Now she's acting a little weird, so you press lie this time. Press lie. Press lie. Press lie. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I told you what I know about the picture. Didn't she just say, I guess you know that? Yeah. But anyway, um, so now you go to the concealed message right here. Press A. Press A or X. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. Okay, that's enough for that. Now, Kavanaugh's bar matchbook. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. Okay, she's still directly looking at you, so you press truth. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. 
Okay, now for the last question, alibi for Mrs. Black. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. And still directly looking at you, and you press truth. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, detective. Okay, it says we'll keep you informed, but we won't, so you know. Anyway, we're going to call R&I now. Operator, give me R&I. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's Bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks. Okay, well that's enough for that. Um, yeah, what is he doing? <laughs> Whatever. I don't know what Stefan doing is right now. What Stefan is doing right now, but whatever. So we're gonna go to Kavanaugh's, Kavanaugh's Bar see what in the world is gonna go on over there we're not gonna go to black residence we're going to Kavanaugh's bar so turn turn around Jesus, I'm glad to turn around Mr. And Mrs. Black I think I put the siren on here homeless. yeah he's too okay. scared to divorce because he's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out if this hadn't happened they could have stayed miserable together forever you think she could have killed him she sure as hell doesn't seem the type but stranger things have happened Okay, so I said, like, um, you know how, like, I couldn't really hear, like, I don't hear anything when I put on the voiceover, like, when I do the voiceover and the commentary, but, you know, um, yeah, so I don't know if the sign is on or not, but, you know, I'm just gonna just predict that I don't have the sign on, or I do, I think, I'm not sure, I have to remember these things. So then we go, whoa, the hunting car is there. Oh my god. Now my driving is usually a little bit better, so you know. Oh. Hey, I know you. I know you. No, you don't. Okay, well, we're just going to stop it there. Um, so yeah. Um, this is going to be the end of the video, guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.